Previously on Hood Life, Cash accepted the position offered by Catalina and is welcome into her legal crime family. After securing a loan from the bank, Cash is able to finally open his storefront and takes viewers on an exclusive tour before the grand opening. Feeling envious, Monster creates a plan to rob Cash's stash house, but ends up getting a little more than he bargained for. We are nearing our goal of 100,000 subscribers, so don't forget to smack that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you know immediately when a new video is posted. day has finally came the grand opening of my footlocker i mean that sounds crazy just even saying <laughs> considering how far i've come look i remember always wanting a brand new jays as a kid but i could never afford them man <laughs> look at me now man that's your wow bro but look not only will i be opening the store today but the brand new jordan 12s are being released today as well so i'm expecting a huge turnout see growing up I always study business and branding and I know that the easiest way to grow a new business is by either doing discounted sales on the first day or a very large giveaway. Well in this case, we'll be doing a giveaway. For all my shoe heads out there, I know y'all familiar with the Air Mags, right? <laughs> well guess what? I got my hands on a pair and I'll be giving them away today to one lucky winner. See these shoes are almost impossible to get. I mean, they sell it online for upwards of $40,000. Hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell y'all how much I spent on mine though. But listen, with every purchase of Jordan 12s, you'll receive a number. That number will then be entered into a drawing in which the winner will win the shoes. Now I'm expecting the scene to be pretty chaotic. So I came into the store super early today to set up the security gates and I even hired armed security. But say man, I still have a ton of work to do before the grand opening. So I'm gonna tap back in with y'all later. Also, don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already. That'll increase your chance of winning the giveaway. After giving it a lot of thought, I have decided to move back to LA. There was a lot that went into my decision, but my main deciding factor was my father's health. As he's getting up in age, he's starting to slow down, and I think it's time I take more responsibility in the family. I was sheltered growing up, and I never really had a normal childhood. I've never been on a real date or even had a real relationship. Most guys I meet are either intimidated by me or they only want one thing. I think that's why I'm so hooked on Cash, you know, he's so different, he's so fearless, he's just so, I mean, I love him. I mean, I don't love him, love him, well, maybe I do, I don't know. I guess only time will tell if we'll ever really be together. Catalina scheduled an emergency dinner tonight. I honestly have no idea what the hell is going on, but it really pissed me off because I was forced to leave my grand opening. That way I can come back to the crib and have time to get ready. It isn't normally like her to come into town unannounced unless there's a problem. So I'm hoping nothing has happened with the business, but I guess we'll find out soon. I purchased a whole room at the restaurant just for me and cash. I wore a sexy but modest dress along with my diamond earrings and black heels. I can't help but keep my eyes off of this man, y'all. Like, I love the way he's able to dress for the occasion, but still add his own personal style. The more he talks, the deeper I fall in love with him. I know for a fact tonight is going to be the night, and I best believe I'm going to make the most of it.
Man, y'all, last night was insane. I got to see a total different side of Catalina. It was so amazing seeing such a powerful woman being totally dominated. I think it's safe to say at this point she's in love with me. This morning after our shower, she popped a big question. <laughs> no, not marriage, but damn near. She asked me to move in with her. Now, of course, my player instincts was thinking hell no. But then I began to think about all the possible perks that come along with it. So I'll leave it up to y'all. Comment down below and let me know if we should move in with Catalina. Anyways, she scheduled a house tour for today and asked me to ride along with her. I'm about to finish up here and go get dressed. PFG family, welcome back to another dope ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video on the way in. All right, guys, so we are on our way to check out this huge property. I'm trying to tell and convince Catalina that the property is too big. It's like 38 bedrooms, 14 pools, like crazy. Catalina, what is it that you're looking for in this new property? I want it to be something that I can, you know, start a family, um, something that I can pass down, just, just something that is just all inclusive. Well, you got to remember that this is L.A. This isn't your island that you lived on. So it's going to be super expensive. Like how much money are you looking to spend? Whatever it takes to get what I want. OK, 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 OK. All right. Is it anything specific, though? I mean, is, does it have to have a pool? Does it have to have a 38 car garage? Because we know you got all them cars. Is it anything specific that you're looking for? Um, like I said, I just wanted to be like family oriented. I do want a pool. I definitely have to have a pool. I definitely need a few chandeliers and you know, oh I need space for my cars. Alrighty then. I guess y'all, as you can see, she has a huge list of demands. <laughs> y'all go ahead and do me a favor and comment down below, bruh. Is this house that we're finna go look at the one or should we keep looking? The audacity of this nigga to feel like it's okay to open a store in my damn neighborhood. Huh. At this point, I think it's clear I'm not applying enough pressure to this snake. So be it. Alright y'all, like I told you last episode, man, it is not smart to go to war when you broke. So we gotta get our money up. Now the thing is, after we hit that lick on cash at Stash House, that gave us like three or four, I think it was like, yeah, like $300,000, bruh. So that's great, but the thing is, we live right around the corner from his Stash House, right? So I think it's best if we actually just move out of this neighborhood. So next episode, if everything goes correctly, we gonna buy us a brand new house. Like actually go through the whole process of buying it, furnishing it, everything. But buying that house is gonna put us like back at the bottom we're gonna be broke so my goal with the end of this episode man is to try to run up a bag that way we can sustain you know our lifestyle and you know still have money to eat bro so let's go ahead and get straight to it man all right y'all so it looks like we got our first few sales i'm on high alert man especially after last episode i mean it didn't go too bad even though we almost died bro but i'm definitely still on high alert so we got our first sale right here like i said i'm just trying to run up a bag man 
So I'll go ahead and serve to Miss Lady. That'll actually give us $200, man. Hopefully, it's not a slow episode, bro. But if you look at the map, man, we got people coming from all over, man. So, okay, that's another 200. I got 11,000 on me right now. Like I said, the rest is actually in the stash. Oh, <laughs> this bitch tripping. <laughs> What's up with all these $200 sales, man? It's kind of starting to get hot, bro. So I'm actually going to come down a little bit around this corner right here. And that way I don't got people. Bro, look at the line, man. The block is busting today, bro. But that way I ain't got people coming up behind me. And everybody will be... Okay, we just got a sale. Uh, that's definitely not enough to be leaving our position. So I'll just go ahead and tell her no. Hey, she is that? <laughs> I thought that was my auntie trying to buy, <laughs> trying to buy something, man. Let me go ahead and search these dudes real quick, man. Twenty dollars, bro. Twenty dollars. <laughs> All right, man. We making these sales, bro. That's one hundred and eighty, man. It's super, super slow. I don't know why they be running off like that. Let me get back in position. you want baby all right y'all we got us a little bit you know we got us a little bit of clientele man like i told y'all at last episode like the more business we get the more territory we could take over so that way you know our clientele will continue to grow but we ain't really making too much money right now at all bro i mean i guess we building up our clientele but this is the slow grind i guess brick by brick by brick all right. Appreciate it. 120. I'm trying to get to the 10K, the 20K, but I guess the prices are realistic. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will correct me down in the comment section. Another $200. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Chill, bro. Chill. It was an accident, bro. Keep pushing. Oh, damn. Bro, come on, man. Chill. I don't want to phase you. All right. Thank you. Yeah, get up out of here. Yeah, get up out of here. Yeah, you put that thing out there. <laughs> they whole mood change. Look, she definitely just left Bible study. No worries, though. Is she a librarian or some shit? This dude been standing here patiently waiting. Yo, good luck. No problem, no problem. I really don't even like your con, but it's all good, man. All right, thanks. Hey, that was smooth, man. We made at least like 15 sales. Now, we only made like, what, $2,000 probably. But we made at least like 15 sales with no issues, bro. That's crazy. Well, we almost had an issue, but it's all good, man. Let's go ahead and switch spots, bro. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and switched spots. I think I'm over here by like the library or something. I'm pretty sure that's the library. So hopefully we get the same. Well, no, nah, I don't want the same success. I want more success, bro. Uh-oh. Okay. Hey, thought you might like to know somebody is selling in our area. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There go the cops, bro. I did not do nothing. I am a better. Oh, bro. How we get three stars? I didn't even do it then. <laughs> I'm out of here, my nigga. Hell no. Nah. I ain't, I ain't even pull no gun out or nothing, bro. Somebody hella snaked me. That was literally my first sale in that area, so somebody snitched on me, bro. We are definitely up out of here. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I do not want no smoke with the police, man. Damn near every episode when I be dealing oh, they just be popping up. Damn near every episode when I be dealing with Oh, shit. I be about to die, bro. Let me see. Man, they got Roblox out? Is it that serious? I ain't trying to shoot at them or nothing, bro. I'm just trying to go about my way, man. Get up off me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me see. I don't think they see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're going right there. Go ahead and turn right here. I'm just trying to chill, bro. Y'all can hear it in my voice, man. I'm not all excited. I'm just trying to chill and make money, man. I'm trying to buy this crib next episode. I'm trying to get that bitch furnished. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to live, bro. Oh, my grand, grown man shit. But they, they hate them. How they even? Yeah, somebody definitely snaked me, bro. All right, we're going to cut through right here. Oh, they on my ass. I didn't even see him. All right, y'all. I think we probably lost them, I think. But I know the police station is right over here. I should just go to the crib, bro. For real. <laughs> I remember I was a kid, bro. Every time I get in trouble, I try to just go to the crib and lay down. <laughs> that was my way of getting out that ass whooping, man. Just go lay down, bro. <laughs> I don't want to go that way because I'm gonna be stuck in that um that tunnel with Buddy. So yeah, let's actually go chill back here, y'all. We're gonna chill back here, lose these boys, and we're gonna get back to making money. 
Hopefully, they got a damn helicopter. Where is it at? Oh, I don't think they're going to see me, though. They ain't going to see me. They ain't going to see me. They ain't going to see me. Ah, goddamn, they see me, bro. <laughs> oh, and they shoot. They can get them out of here, bro. Oh, goddamn. Okay, now I got the I got the Mac, uh, what's that, a Mac 10 on me. And I got my pistol. So if I get into like a tight squeeze, tight situation, man. And hey, that bitch sound good. Oh, I hit one of them. I knocked one of them down, bro. <laughs> they keep popping up everywhere. I don't know if it's the mod, the drug dealer mod that got it so hard to lose three stars or what. But it ain't never been this hard. Like, what the hell? All right, man, I think we might have lost them. I'm actually just finna go in the crib, bro. I ain't even finna lie to you. I am going to the crib, bro. Ah, the cops is right there by the crib. Uh, maybe I could park over here, hit some alleyways or something like that. Tommy, you're a genius. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. We should be good. I'm going to just park the car, y'all. And, oh, wait. Okay, yeah, go on by. Go on by. All right, y'all. <laughs> oh, bro, look at the area, though. Look at the area. Who? Who is these people in my crib, bro? <laughs> Whose car is this in, my nigga? Hey, y'all, we finna lose these boys, man. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know why it's so hard. I'm thinking it's because it's like the LS Life mod and I got... What the hell was that? And I got a uh, hard mode on or something like that. Oh, my goodness, man. This shit is impossible. All right. Oh, oh, get sideways. Get sideways. All right, man, I'm done playing with these boys. I'm done playing, man. I'm done playing. Oh, all right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hop out, hop out, hop out. I don't know where I'm going. Like, I know somebody live over here or some shit. All right, bro, I'm finna just chill, y'all. I'm just finna chill till we lose them. All right, y'all, we finally ended up losing the police. I'm sure y'all can still <laughs> still hear the sirens. Look, I ain't even shut my damn door, bro. We just finna walk for a, for a little bit. Let me see. We got kittens and shit. Yeah, that was definitely, definitely a fail, man. I'm trying to come up with more ideas on how to get money as opposed to trapping because the money is too slow. Man, y'all do me a favor. Comment down below, like, do y'all want to see heist? Like, I gotta think of something, man. Do y'all wanna see trapping heist? Do y'all want me to download like some jobs, like some nine to five jobs, man? Y'all do me a favor and comment down below. Let me know what y'all wanna see and whatever has the most comments or votes, bro. I promise you, that's what we finna start doing. But yeah, like I, I made an announcement before, guys. I got my server up. I think the first episode will be released tomorrow. Um, it's not gonna be a live stream for the first episode, but after that, every episode following will be a live stream, guys. So I'm actually gonna end the episode here. That way I can get it up uploaded for you i love you so much man thank you so much for supporting the channel and i'm on to the next one